I've been doing a series of videos and here I want to do one on dinghies and outboard engines and so we went with a 15 horse a Yamaha Enduro our previous uh, engine had gotten stolen and I had that for quite a few years and would have lasted me a very long time if it had not been stolen and it was actually stolen from right here in my davits and I was asleep in the salon did not hear anything but the problem I had done was I had not put a good lock on the dinghy so now I have a really good lock on the dinghy and it's a waterproof lock but very happy with the outboard engine it starts pretty quickly but I cannot say quite the same thing about Carib uh, as a as a tender we bought this tender three years ago in St. Martin brand new and we ended up going from St. Martin to Trinidad so I used it uh, on in St. Martin for a few days and then we came out of the water immediately in Trinidad for a seven month uh, refit and when we ended up uh, relaunching I got to use the dinghy once and I was wondering why am I taking water the dinghy has sat uh, the, the pontoon uh, was somewhat deflated and something said to me deflate the hull and I deflated this hull all the way to discover inside this area where the oars are it was completely delaminated. I was upset because this was a brand new dinghy. I'd use it for maybe five days before we started a seven month refit. So I ended up calling the person that I bought it from, the company I bought it from in St. Martin, took photographs, sent it to them, explained the situation, and they said, you have to come back to St. Martin for us to look at it in person. So 600 miles back up the island chain, we went back uh, to the to the place they looked at it they said yep uh, that is a, 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 a challenge uh, let us contact Karib well we were hoping for a replacement inflatable because again it was brand new but Karib would not replace the inflatable but they did say well under warranty they will have the hull reworked and so we ended up with a brand new secondhand reworked hull and we ended up sailing to Colombia to Cartagena, used it for about three or four months, and then COVID ended up hitting us. And so the boat has been basically sitting for quite a long time and not much use. Uh, and uh, it's delaminating again. There is a spot in the gel coat that we see some delamination. There's water coming in a few places. Uh, when I am motoring, you can see there's water. That's just from today, just motoring around in this little bit of chop. There's not that much chop, but any bit of chop and the water starts to fall back into the, uh, the, 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 the hull. The hull. And the attachments for the paddle, you can see I have a paddle lying in the water. Uh, yeah, but these uh, Velcro attachments are the cheapest and the weak, it doesn't even hold the paddles in. So overall, when I look at Karib and what I have, I would probably give them a, a one out of five. This is not a dinghy that I really would want to recommend. It's not a dinghy that I really want to keep. I don't plan on keeping it any longer, uh, any, any more than I, I need to, but dinghies are expensive. Now, I did go for a bigger dinghy. I went for a dinghy with a keel in it. I can take a 20 horsepower outboard on this, but I don't have a 20, I have a 15. So she planes with four people quite nicely. So I don't have a complaint about the performance of the dinghy. I have a complaint about the about the construction and the service of Karib. And again, also here yeah, on these the oar locks, those are all coming loose on the opposite side. It has already come off. So I don't feel it is the best quality dinghy.